Hello, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to talk about GameCube emulator, Dolphin GameCube emulator. And a game that uh, many people have problems with is, is Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. To the fact that it always freezes and uh, whatnot. Uh, I love to play this game as well. So I did some researches, tried to play the game, did fail, did freeze all the time. Of course, randomly, not like because not like um, other games on the Simu. It's just with randomly. And uh, well, I did some research and figured out how to do it, how to fix it. It's kind of easy or not. It depends on your knowledge. But um, don't you worry. I got fix for you. With anything further ado, guys, let's hop into my desktop and let's show you how to fix it, so you can play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. And full HD on your PC and enjoying the good old days. With any further ado, guys, let's do this. As you are on my desktop right now, the first thing you need to do, all you need to to get, is uh, the Dolphin emulator, uh, and of course the latest one. I have already one here on my desktop, and as always, guys, you know, 7-zip, extract here, wait a little bit till it does the work get it extracted from the depressed depressed folder right taking this you can keep it or you can delete it it depends it's up to you i gonna delete it right here and uh, of course i got the description below but um I, I cannot leave a direct link direct download link to the description below this description below sorry um because of uh, this emulator does this is the site where you can find it dolphin emulator the official one to the fact that is always updating so what you need to do i'm gonna leave the link uh, in the description below where you get to this site so what you need to do after just click here and then you will see as you might see here four hours ago so i could leave this link for you and you could download it but it's what might be the actual actual one or the act yes the newest one so uh, what you need to do just do as i did go to this website click on uh, click where i showed you right here and you get directed to this site and uh, it depends on the newest one download it just click on it i did already and you will it will download all my auto automatically and uh, without no problems so with anything for you guys let's get out of this so we have the emulator the next step you need to do double click you don't need any extra files or something like that, it's already fixed and whatnot. So just go click on Dolphin, close that, and this is the emulator, that's how it looks. Of course, if you don't have any games and if you didn't uh, install it before on your PC, it's not gonna look like that, actually without the games and whatnot. So um, the settings for Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness to, to get it playable uh, as good as possible of course as fast and without any freezing or glitching is I'm gonna show you so first of all let's go to configuration just copy the exact settings that I have and you are good to go so what you need to do here in general just disable enable dual core speed up because um, this does a lot of glitches it helps with other games but when you're playing Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness I do highly recommend to disable it and you're good to go cheats you can enable it if you want to but I do not cheat keep the exact same things uh, as well here GTR recompile recommended recommended as they say it, are, it is recommended keep it like this interface it's nothing too um, nothing too special it doesn't affect the gameplay or whatnot um, but uh, what I do recommend is always hide mouse cursor because if you are a YouTuber and you recording your game on this emulator for your YouTube channel, you don't want that mouse shows in your footage. Audio, uh, keep it as DSPL, how I'm English fast. As I told you, just copy the same settings and you're good to go. I won't leave it at this. You can pause it as well if you want to. Pads, uh, this is where you um, uh, get your games to show up in your emulator directly without to download and upload and whatnot and kind of things you know what I mean so uh, in in order to do that, that you can see your games uh, right here you need to go to add um, search for your uh, games or game where you put the full games in I put it in the GameCube games and then just select and you're good to go the games will show up right there GameCube 
nothing too special we in advance keep it as it is close that now the next thing is what you need to do is here is uh, you go to graphics OpenGL graphics so now some people saying is uh, OpenGL is good is, is the best and others say well can well what do I recommend what do I recommend is uh, to use uh, the OpenGL is the best of all it's it's glitches is, it has less glitches and it has uh, more uh, like uh, horsepower gives to you to you PC or emulator so I do recommend the OpenGL as I told you just copy the same I don't know what even I'm talking about uh, talking about it because I told you just copy the same and you're good to go so OpenGL auto aspect ratio you it depends on you what you want to do but I just keep it automatic you can force it then um, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 or start stretch the window but it's gonna look ugly so keep it just automatically use full screen so when you start the game it's gonna pop up full screen and you're good to go if you're not like me show the FPS I always want that otherwise keep it as it is as I told you enhancement and depends on your PC um, here um, I do recommend uh, to try out the best for you like go with um, 720p and if it works smoothly for you the games uh, try 1080p but other than that um, you're good to go so uh, I do anti-analyzing 2 uh, MSAA 1 so pre-filtering post-processing um, just keep it off you need that you need that here guys um, if you want some extras and some enhancements uh, you just can per pixel lightning, force 24 bit light, and whatnot. I do recommend uh, if you want even um, a more uh, like a higher guarantee not to um, that you game that you Pokemon XD Gale Dogs not to not to freeze. I do recommend to um, disc click this. It does enhance uh, as you might see down there. It does enhance the graphical graphics even more. And whatnot but uh, if you want even like a less less chance that your game freeze and whatnot so you enjoy your game and whatnot and I do I recommend to disable it but I can't keep it like that hacks uh, keep those settings I do recommend to put it at safe if you can so skip if I keep that as well as I as I you see right here the same settings I have it on a middle but if you can just go to save uh, it will be more accurate and there will be no glitching what not GPU texture decoding okay um, what this what this thing does is actually is decode to your GPU instead of your CPU because in some cases your CPU will be, might be not powerful enough and uh, they will actually uses your GPU instead and get your extra horsepower to get the game at 60 or 30 FPS depends on keep the same settings as well you can uh, disable or enable it depends on you but I would like keep it and the last not least advanced don't do anything and you actually good to go with right guys actually the last thing I want to mention is uh, that you have to do is just go to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and right click properties and disable 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 this option here enable dual core disable it and uh, you good to go and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the video I just gonna sh want to show you how, how like how good the graphic actually are you know what you're gonna do it full screen let's go And there you guys, this this that's how that's how it's gonna look like with all those things that we does. Continue the game. As you might see, clean, no glitches, whatnot. No those kinds of um Oh, hold up. I'm actually yeah, I played a little do you see how long I played? No glitches, no crashes, whatnot. Now I'm actually really deep in the game, I'm gonna show you. As you might see. I'm very deep in the game, it works just fine, no glitches and whatnot. Let's actually go to this place here. I'm recording now, so it's kind of normal, but as you see, smooth, it looks good and whatnot. Here you go. Everything works as it's supposed to, it looks perfect. And this is in 1080p right now. 
Uh, of course, it's not widescreen, but you can do that if you want to. It will, it will actually, it will glitch as well when you do that. It's not gonna look as it's supposed to. And I think I talked enough for today. With that, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna get take out of here. Have yourself a good day. And bye, guys. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emu from Emu Gaming, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.